Well, I'm back again. Um, been doing a lot of thinking today about what's going on with this lack of investigation by the FBI and uh, MGM Resorts, Ellen DeGeneres. Um, it's pretty obvious this investigation is over with. Uh, we're going to get the official narrative that it was one shooter. Um, and uh, that's it. Uh, they're going to tie up. Well, you know, we got some uh, people that file lawsuits and they're going to get tied up. Believe me, nothing's going to come of any of these lawsuits. Not when you're talking about this big of money. It'll never happen. So, uh, it is absolutely disgusting what has happened to these people. It's terrible. Talked about it earlier. 59 people murdered. Five, over 500 shot, wounded, some still in critical condition. Um, people, they got to pay for this. They got to pay for this. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I have heard or seen, I think I've seen it, that the one of the major short shareholders of the MGM Resorts took out a short going all the way back in July of last year and uh, which matured just before the shooting and uh, he was able to cash in on that major windfall something like a hundred ninety million dollars is what I understand that's insider trading that's foreknowledge how do you take a take out a short there's, evidently there's all kinds of shorts that you can do um, in this one from what I understand is just uh, for some liquidity uh, some cash which would probably wouldn't be that surprising of a thing you know uh, a lot of times if you want to make these these big movers and shakers they want to buy a piece of property um, get a bigger loan they got to put up some collateral it could be cash it could be any number of things well in this particular short it started in July the price um, basically what it was from what I understand is he put his stock up for sale and he guaranteed the value of that stock wouldn't drop below a certain um, value a certain price and that that guarantee came to maturity, or that short came to maturity just before the shooting, and then he just went and bought all of the stock back because the stock crashed. The value of the stock plummeted at that point. So he guaranteed it up until the shooting, then the value of the stock plummeted, then he bought it back. And the difference was $190 million. Now, if somebody knows more than me about that, please educate me. Um, there's also rumors that the CEO of, uh, of MGM Resorts or Mandalay Bay is invested in terrorist groups in the past or has been or is being. So here's what we need to do. We, there's one thing that really bothers these people and that's to lose money. Okay. We need to boycott, boycott all MGM properties, specifically the Mandalay Bay, until every dime that was made off of this short, off of this terrorist attack, is given to the victims. Victims families um, and one other thing to pay for a real investigation by some of the best investigators and attorneys in this country.
okay? Those two things. How can we allow this to stand? Again, let's put the pressure on them. I want this video to be shared, not just nationwide, but around the world. Let's put an end to these shenanigans. Terrorism for profit. That's what it was. Terrorism for profit. Because we're not going to get anything out of the FBI and we're not going to get anything out from the local law enforcement. The Even the ability for a real investigation by the FBI and local law enforcement has been destroyed. We need like a special counsel, something uh, along that lines, except for do it in the private sector, okay? Boycott them. Boycott them. Don't let them get away with this. Do not let them get away with this. These are low-life scumbags. Let's put an end to it. Share this video. Make it go viral. Make this video go viral. God bless everybody.